We are currently in the eighth generation of Apple Watches and there has never been more options to choose from. The three Apple Watches in the current lineup are the budget-friendly Apple Watch SE, the budget-unfriendly Apple Watch Ultra, and then the standard Apple Watch Series 8. Picking the right one for you can be a bit complicated, but no fear, I am here to help. So let's take a look at Apple's current lineup of smartwatches to help you find your perfect fit. The Apple Watch Series 8 is not a major upgrade over the Apple Watch Series 7 in terms of design and features. In fact, the Series 8 and Series 7 look identical. So if your smartwatch is only a year or two old, there's really no need to upgrade. But if you are in the market for a new smartwatch, the Series 8 features the same great design as the Series 7, namely including the two larger watch faces. I would recommend heading to the Apple Store to try both out if you can and find which one suits you the most. The Apple Watch Series 8 has the most color options of any of Apple's latest wearable collection. It's available in Midnight, Silver, Starlight, and Product Red. The major new feature that the Apple Watch Series 8 has over the Series 7 is the skin temperature sensor, which can inform cycle and fertility tracking as well as sleep tracking. If that doesn't seem that useful to you, I think there's a feature that will. Low power mode is finally here on the Apple Watch 8, extending your battery life to a 36 hour stamina. Finally, you can actually use your Apple Watch for sleep tracking without it dying or barely clinging to life by the time you awake from your precious beauty sleep. The Apple Watch Series 8 also has a new crash detection feature, leveraging improved motion sensors for instant help when you might need it most. Although I have to mention that I've seen reports of this getting set off by roller coasters, so maybe leave your Series 8 at home next time you go to Six Flags. The Series 8 is the sweet spot for upgrades for owners of the Apple Watch Series 4 or Series 5 or just anyone who wants that full featured watch experience. It will also be a great choice for those who have health conditions that the Apple Watch Series 8 can help monitor. Do I wish a bit more was exciting and different from the previous generations? Sure, but if you're an iPhone user and you want a device for working out, answering calls from your wrist, or using the best Apple Watch apps, this is a solid smartwatch that will not disappoint. Having said all of that, if the price tag of the Series 8 is a little too high for you, then you might want to consider the Apple Watch SE. The Apple Watch SE is kind of a hybrid device, pairing an older Apple Watch design with the Apple Watch Series 8 chipset. This $249 smartwatch doesn't have all of the Series 8's features, but it still stands out for its great fitness tracking and safety features, including that new crash detection feature I told you about earlier. When choosing between the Series 8 and SE, your ultimate decision will be if you want to spend the extra $150 for the more premium features that the Apple Watch Series 8 has to offer, including that brighter screen with an always-on display, an ECG monitor, and the skin temperature sensor. If those tools aren't deal breakers for you, the SE is a highly capable option for iPhone users. While I truly think most users will find everything they need in the SE 2022, if money is not a concern and you want the ultimate Apple Watch experience available, then the Apple Watch Ultra might be the choice for you. The Apple Watch Ultra is the best Apple Watch to buy if you're a serious athlete. In addition to new watchOS running features, the Ultra has an extra third button and a siren built in, which is an excellent safety feature that I wish was in the other Apple Watch models. Its 49 millimeter screen is huge, especially on petite wrist, but it's built for adventure. The bezel is made from titanium with a little lip around the screen to add more protection. The display is made from sapphire glass and the watch has an increased water resistance of up to 100 meters. And with 60 hours of battery life in low power mode, it has the endurance to keep up with you wherever you might go. I have no doubt about it, the Apple Watch Ultra is the most exciting Apple Watch in years, but it is still missing some of the features that Garmin and Pollard have mastered for their running watches long ago. At the time of recording this video, the Apple Watch Ultra does not have recovery data or the option to upload offline maps directly onto the watch. If you're buying an Apple Watch just to check your text or for the odd workout in the gym, you will be better off saving your money and investing in the Apple Watch Series 8 or Apple Watch SE. This is really an Apple Watch designed for outdoor sports enthusiasts, whether it's running, biking, swimming, rock climbing, kayaking, or diving, but it also can keep up with you as you go about your workday with that long battery life. 
That said, I'm not quite sure it lives up to its ultra name just yet. If I were running an ultra marathon, I'd need a longer battery life and better mapping capabilities. The redeeming factor of that is that Apple is known for rolling out watch updates pretty regularly, and all of this watch's current shortfalls can easily be fixed with a few tweaks down the line. It doesn't reinvent the wheel, but Apple has made its best sports watch yet. Features like the action button and the better battery life make the Apple Watch Ultra a contender for athletes in a way Apple has never been in that market before. However, the Ultra might be too much for smaller wrists and smaller budgets. Hopefully, I've been able to help you decide which Apple Watch is right for you. If you need a more in-depth look at any of these watches, check out our full reviews on tomsguide.com. And if you're wondering if the Apple Watch Ultra could replace your iPhone, head to Tom's Guide's YouTube channel, where you're going to find a video of me ditching my iPhone for 24 hours in favor of this pricey wrist warmer. All right, I have to know, after watching this video, which Apple Watch do you think is right for you? If you're subscribed and leave a comment, I'll be sure to get back to you. You should also connect with us on social, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Tom's Guide. And as always, I'm at Kate Kozich. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Kind of to talk with my hands like this the whole time would be weird, right? Yeah.